Good, folks. What is up, everybody? This is Shockingly Neil back with a... What is this? This isn't just a... Hey, uh, this just isn't a uh, GTA with Matt and Jay. No, Matt and Jay are here. <laughs> but I have another celebrity guest with us right now. A fellow Let's Player. His name is Hey Dad, Let's Play. Hey, everybody. Yeah, he was in the Johnny Cash movie. Yes. Uh, and I think he was in Ray. I think he was the... Uh, the guy who gave Ray Charles his sandwiches offset. Yeah, and uh, for some reason, it's like he just does music documentary movies because he was in the Hank Williams Jr. movie as well. Uh, he was also in Walk Hard. I think he was the stand-in for the guy with the dick. Yeah, he was. Uh, <laughs> he, was uh, <laughs> he was. He was also doing the mockumentary. Oh, he was in a Mighty yeah, Wind. A I, th I think he was in a Mighty Wind and Spinal Tap. Yeah, Spinal Tap for sure. He was fantastic. Dude, I loved you in Spinal Tap. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I I, uh, I worked real hard making those sandwiches for those guys. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah, I, was, you know, I could uh, really tell. I could really tell, man. You just really did your research. Like, I hear. You went out I, I, I hear Johnny Cash is a lover of exotic meats. <laughs> he is indeed. He is indeed. Uh, we we actually we all ate a lot of Wolverine that day. So uh... <laughs> Wolverine. <laughs> I get you exotic meats. <laughs> it's uh he's, uh, he's Dwight Schrute. You want some lion? <laughs> it's actually <laughs> goat. <laughs> it's it's all gonna be goat. <laughs> oh, and we got Jay. He's back. He can plug his uh, YouTube channel. It is Jay Schraub Music. Just go to jayschraub.com. J a y s c h r a u b. I have links there. Got two albums out bunch of music videos oh. so and come we'll, check it out last and certainly least we have Matt <laughs> yeah and uh, I'm still having some technical difficulties with my YouTube but uh, we'll get yeah, there. as in as in it can't be found <laughs> <laughs> it can't I don't I, know I'm sorry guys I, I searched your name I searched your email I searched everything and it's just like uh, go fuck yourself. We don't have anything. <laughs> so, uh, when we you were doing no... the research for the movie where you were making sandwiches, uh, sure, how many yeah. sandwiches did you have to make a day? Like, was it, like, just tons? And, and were you were you near any chefs and you just took in the advice that they gave you, or? Well, well so, Spinal Tap, actually, <laughs> that, that's the one I remember the most. It went way over yeah. budget because it was my first sandwich job. And, uh... <laughs> I wasn't sure how much these guys could eat, so I, I made about 300 sandwiches a day. Oh, and, uh, oh my god! Oh, hard. It really, uh, the, the experience that that you got from that it really shows in the right, in right. Final tap. Well, I mean, yeah, because it, because at first it was a craft, and then it became an art, a, a well-disciplined yeah. art that uh, you know, he would he would just you know he could make a sandwich a second, you know, bread slap cheese. I, I, slap, I remember mayo, that episode. Bam. Where you were making the, the sandwiches, and right. the guy requested the the dick sandwich. Yeah, yeah. Remember that? yeah. So you made a sandwich yeah. shaped it, like a dick yeah, and but balls. It, it was. It, let, let, let me tell. Let me. But it was let, let me tell you something. It, it well, it, it did. We we let everybody think it was kielbasa, but oh. just because we're in the room, let me. I wanted it to be really authentic, uh -huh. and uh, I, right. I I I went and I uh, I dug up Richard Nixon. You know, because oh, oh, people man. called him Dick. You know, yeah, yeah Tricky Dick. And uh, it's it's actually yeah, it's actually like Tricky Dick's calf muscle is what oh, the meat oh, that man. I used for that. Oh, yeah, and oh. that was still that was still on the body, the calf muscle. Yes, yeah, there. absolutely. That's he was a, that, he was that's uh, incredible. People didn't well know preserved. this, but he was very well preserved. And uh, <laughs> Tricky Dick actually he had legs like tree trunks. That man. Oh my god! Oh, and uh, took a very long time to for that to decompose. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, well, so what yeah, did you so season they that with? The, uh, they had the official dick sandwich then. Did you guys? Uh, <laughs> Indeed. Did you guys uh, season that with a little paprika to cover up the uh, the the stench or? You, you know, paprika is a little sharp. You know, so yeah. sometimes I, I just like to like to throw a little little cumin on there. A little cumin. Oh, okay. little, yeah. little little little, uh, <laughs> little cumin on the tricky dick. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's fantastic. Uh, what did they think of the sandwich? You know, I, I remember in, in 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 the show, they loved it. Like they couldn't get enough. Right. And like, right. They couldn't get enough of his dick. Right. right. Yeah. Well. And, and so, 
in reality, that's that's mostly why why the the movie went so far over budget because um, everybody just would say that the sandwiches were inedible and they'd throw them away. And so the very next day, I'd have to make 300 more sandwiches. Oh, geez. And the, the sandwich budget just went insane on that movie. Oh. Um, yeah, I yeah. think, I, think so I remember well. I think I remember uh, watching the commentary, uh, the director's commentary, and he was uh, yeah. quite annoyed with the amount of money that was going towards the sandwiches. <laughs> the sandwiches, yeah. Only, he, even, he, even, he even name-dropped you, man. He, uh, he referenced you. It was... Yeah. Not a lot of people watch the commentary. It's it's very underrated. You should always watch the commentary we give oh, yeah. movies you, yeah. after you watch them. And he he name dropped you and he he complimented your ability to make sandwiches, but he thought there was just too many sandwiches being made. Budget was going over, and he just didn't want to let you go because you were just a, so goddamn good at the art. You know, <laughs> the, the, there's there's chefs and then there's chiefs. Which is, com you know, you, you commonly think, well, somebody just mis mispronounced uh, the word chef or read it wrong. No, no, he was right, the sandwich right. chief. Yeah, That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and, and matter of fact, if you watch the credits, it says sandwich chief, and your name is right next to it. Yes, his name, right there. Yes. I, I did not, I did not know again, I was credited you that can way. You let these people know what your name is, so they know that you were in all these movies, and some of your best work was done at making sandwiches on Spinal Tap. Well, uh, you know, I will say you were credited on Walk Hard, but they called you Billy the Bod. Yeah. Billy the Bod, you're right, <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> so the, the the funny thing about about uh, Walk Hard was my my agent, he actually, uh, uh, he, he uh, gets my name out there as a meat smith, okay? A meat smith. Right, yeah. and then it really just means that what I use for my sandwiches, um, but they they were actually looking for not a dick sandwich maker, but a a dick body double. Well, and yeah. you, you thought, of course, hey, hey, it's a payday. I can do this. Of course, I can do. Absolutely, this. yeah. Of course, I can so, do that. So and do then, you still, it, do you still make delicious dick sandwiches? I I do. I do make. It's got to be hard. It's got to be hard. Yeah. So so. So are you are you farming uh, Fart. dick calf muscles? Uh, uh, I you... still I still farm uh, dick ca calf muscles. There's a uh, there's not much a tricky dick left anymore though. You know that was several years ago. Well, you yeah. know they've and, come uh, so far along and with science and, and you know yeah, uh, yeah they've they've come they've come they've come that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> So we're gonna we're gonna sell some of this stock. Oh, I and... just hit a car head on. <laughs> yeah, let me let see me if maybe I can head. join you guys now, cause now I'm just some guy driving a red car. <laughs> some guy yeah. driving a red car. Hey, maybe you should be that in your next movie that you do. Uh, by the way, uh, what's your next project? Or, or have um, you decided to take some time? I do believe he's gonna make sandwiches for the next Emily Blunt movie. <laughs> That'd be fantastic. Yeah, I heard um, she's the, really easy to work with. She she's she's very easy to work with. The first time I, I actually worked with her was on um, a Quiet Place, or a Quiet yeah. Movie. I'm not sure. They were yeah. very method about it. We weren't allowed to speak, and I think that's what made everyone there so easy to work with. Oh, uh, you know, no, I re well, I read an internet rumor that uh, you uh, actually made sandwiches for an Emily Blunt uh, softcore porn called Blunts and Boobies. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, but, you know, I don't. Uh, that could that could just be a rumor, about... right? That's very interesting. I don't. So, uh... I mean, uh... so really, I guess we just want to know what's next for you, for, for um, Billy the Bod. For Billy the Bod, the next thing for me, um, like you said, it is going to be a Emily Blunt project. Um, they're yeah. actually doing. Uh, Live, die, repeat, repeat, and that's uh, coming out pretty soon. Is that with uh, Bruce Willis? The, the Bruce Willis is is, is is yes. Bruce Willis is writing and directing this one as well as playing two starring roles. Oh, uh, John McClane now, and John McClane's uh, clone. In this correct? movie, I I I I hear there's a nod to Trump in this movie, and uh, it, it it says that he likes his sandwiches small. Uh, and <laughs> small and with lots of mushrooms. Yeah, and ketchup. Uh, 
Yeah, Do you take the request well a special mushroom shaped sandwich that's really small? You know, uh, I have made a mushroom shaped sandwich before. Um, okay. Not not usually. But that that was as for the small that was for what's the being super, requested. That was from the Super Mario Brothers debut. I mean, we we all know why right. it was mushroom shaped there, but here right, is more absolutely. of a mystery. Oh god! Yeah. I just hit another car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I just gotta tell you, I'm a big fan of your work. I really well, am. Well, thank you, thank you. Yeah. You know, and, it's not uh, it's not like often that somebody saying. takes such notice of the of the uh, the sandwich maker. That's so, true. Yeah. That's true. I, I, you know, it's a it's it's a humble profession, and it stays humble because no one cares to talk about it. I think. You know, I I also hear that when people say, uh, Billy, do you like what you do? And you just you know casually, hey. People gotta eat, you know. That's right. Yeah. People gotta eat. People gotta motherfucking eat, you know. Yep, you know that's that's how it is. And uh, if people don't eat, well, oh, uh, I killed that guy. <laughs> Holy crap! Whoa. <laughs> anyway, let's let's uh, let's uh, change the subject off sandwiches and uh, tricky dicks. <laughs> <laughs> So, for right. real though, I hit this join session here by Neil, and it doesn't do anything. It just puts me back where I was. Uh, well, Matt, you should, uh, uh, send him a, uh, invite to the, okay, uh... let me get this done. Uh, what's your PlayStation name again? Let's see. Jones Pete. Jones Pete. I might be able to invite him. Let's see. Yeah, he's in here with us. So, you're in the, in the lobby with us right now. Matt just needs okay. to invite you to the club. Okay. Give me just a second. Do you I don't know think that, I can do it while we're on a mission. You know, they, they say that Jim from The Office is related to uh, Dick Nixon. Oh, really? No. Do you remember that episode? <laughs> <laughs> I believe that 100%. He said he had a Nixon nose? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, uh... You I've know, seen... it, it, would have, it would have brought our conversation full circle. We started with Dwight, went to Emily Blunt, and then Jim is actually related to Dick Nixon. So. Dude, I've maybe seen, he'll be in the movie. I've seen that show maybe. all the way through at least four times. Oh, oh yeah. I gotta send you. I gotta send you something, Neil. Speaking of The Office, uh -oh. on uh, the Talking Tunes one with Clancy Brown, they did a script reading, and Clancy was Michael Scott. As what? Mr. Krabs. Oh, and, uh, oh my God. and Rob and Rob Paulson was uh, uh, the fat kid from Jimmy Neutron. I can't remember his name at the moment. Uh, Carl. Yes, he was Carl. Oh my gosh. Because Rob Paulson's the voice of Carl on Jimmy Neutron. We all know him as Yakko Warner or Pinky from Pinky and the Brain, but he's a bunch of other characters too. Because he's, I, I think he's, yeah, he, he's Raphael and Donatello now. In that new series, he's both of them? Yeah. Well, that new he's series been looks, both of them since it like became trash. Nickelodeon. Oh, really? He was, yeah, he was, he was uh, Raphael. Raphael. Yeah. 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 And then that he new... did, he took over Donatello when the Nickelodeon started a series huh. a long time ago. That new series. The, the, There's your weed, buddy. The series before... This newest one was awesome. Mm -hmm. I think it's it was it was good. In my it opinion, really it's good. it's the best turtle show as far as mm -hmm. seriousness yeah, and funny. Yeah, are you funny. delivering your weed? Yeah, I'm delivering. Yeah, but, it was really good. Uh, um, I mean, I haven't watched this newest one yet. My son awful. did. It, it does look terrible. My son watched it, so he's nine, so he's the target demographic for this. Right. But all he did was talk to me, yell at me, pretty much, for like an hour about how terrible it is. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think they've missed their mark completely. Well, Leo is supposed to be the cool dude in this show. And, right. like, Raph is the leader. Which, Raph is my favorite, yeah. but it's always because he's, like, the anti-hero like right, yeah. kind of guy. It's not because... He's the leader or anything. Although, if you ask yeah. MC, if you ask MC Hammer, he'll tell you that <laughs> Raphael is the leader. <laughs> yeah. uh, I thought maybe that, that was so dumb. Maybe, like... maybe the person who made this show, who wrote the show, only ever listened to that song. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, he got that wrong. You could tell he didn't know real much about the Ninja Turtles. What? Well, nobody could have corrected him? Like, hey, hey, MC, <laughs> Leo is the leader. Okay. 
Or did or did they? And he go, don't you motherfucking ever correct MC <laughs> Hammer again, bitch. And he like beat the shit out of him. <laughs> like, motherfucker, what time is it? It's hammer time. <laughs> he, starts, like, he just pulls a legit hammer out of his like giant pants. <laughs> Why do you think his pants are so big? He starts killing this guy. Let me tell you, it's not because there's sandwiches in there. No. There's a reason why he wears those parachute pants. Oh, oh, I, didn't, I don't I believe think there, you were involved I, in the I think there, film, there might be some sandwiches in there. I mean, let's be honest. There, I, I know. Your sandwiches are a big hit. They are. You know, he actually. Yeah. I've heard that he actually lives in the left leg of his hammer pants. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> uh, he just pull, pokes his head out. Hammer time, bitches! <laughs> Where's my money? <laughs> oh wait, I spend it all on gold toilets. <laughs> uh, dude, he Have you ever used a golden toilet? It's fantastic! Hey, uh... Oh, uh, your mail's here, Mr. Hammer, and he like just pokes his head out of the pants. <laughs> just like pokes his head out of the and he goes out of the brim of his pants. His head out, he just pokes his head out, and goes thanks, nigga. You think he's got? You think he's got to pay property taxes on that? <laughs> <laughs> MC hasn't had to pay your taxes in years. Why? Cause I live in my pants. <laughs> That's so stupid. That is Mobile so home tax. <laughs> However, he's stupid, I mean, so he's and, lived and almost past New York, so he pays and like a thousand dollars. Hey, guys, I finally made it to a truck. Good, because I finished my deliveries. Yeah, I'm so... almost done. Now you got 21 minutes to make oh, your delivery. Hey, I just got here, asshole. <laughs> to quote Arnold from Terminator 1, fuck you, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a garbage truck. I'm driving kind of fast. I'm going to hit these cars because I ain't going to be last. I was wondering who wasn't making their deliveries. What? Man, I just got here. You like literally just <laughs> invited me not too long ago. You're finally going to make some money and you're you slacking. Still, you still haven't paid me for all those other jobs I did. This is your big payoff right here. So, uh, you gonna anybody else gonna watch the Connor Habib, Khabib fight? Nope. I hope Khabib is kills he back him. In the UFC? Did they let him back in? Yeah. Oh yeah. That was stupid. He's the money man for Dana White right now. How do I Dana's deliver this? Like, oh, well, probably not gonna let him back. Then. It's left. Uh, it's right on your directional pad to drop it off. Okay. Help there's deliver a, we drop off. There's a bunker out here. Probably my bunker. I got a bunker too. Oh, well, aren't you just Mr. Special? I am. Now make my money. None of us do. Yeah, none of us have made it. <laughs> Must be nice. What are you protecting here? I, I, you know, Billy, when you told me you'd never played GTA Online, I was stunned. Well, yeah, I, you know, he's making all the, the more... The more I look at this, I don't think I've ever played GTA 5. What? I think, yeah, I think what I was talking about when I was talking to you was the fourth one. Oh, dude, you're missing out. GTA 5 is amazing. Yeah. Now, you're going to have to play the story because the story is really good. Okay. And Trevor. I'll just say that. Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> you probably yeah, seen some, great. You probably see some Trevor. I've seen the like, YouTube stuff. I mean, yeah. Mike oh, from dude. Breaking Bad took him down. In the game? There was an episode what? of Wait, No, what? there was an episode of Better Call There was an episode of Better Call Saul. Oh, was he and, on there? Uh, 
Yeah, and uh, Trevor oh, yeah. played some Trevory type of character, and he's like giving shit to Mike because they were hired for this one uh, thing together. And Trevor's giving shit to Mike because Mike didn't bring a gun. And Mike's just like, I don't need oh, a gun. Oh, I remember. I think I remember that. Was that that was yeah, Trevor? And, yeah, yeah, that big guy's Trevor. Yeah. That's, that's so, a prequel. Should I watch it first? No. Yeah, I guess you could. You don't watch have it if you to. wanted to. Yeah, you don't have to. Actually, no, don't. Actually, now that I think about it, don't because yeah, there's because, some callbacks. Yeah. There's like some flash forward scenes to Breaking Bad level stuff. I can't believe you've not watched Breaking Bad, man. It's like the pinnacle of well i mean there's no sandwiches involved table shows oh yes there are and there's pizza, there's pizza. there are there is there's pizza and there's a lot of breakfast oh yeah there is tons a lot of you know my dad's favorite line on that show, one of my did, dad's one of my dad's favorite lines from that is uh, when the mom argues with the kid about uh, Raisin Bran, and she's like, it's a Raisin Bran, it's the same thing. No, it's not, Mom. Raisin Bran Crunch. <laughs> <laughs> Raisin Bran Crunch. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know. <laughs> and it's not the same. I'll say that right now. Raisin Bran Crunch uh, is I, way better than Raisin Bran. Raisin Bran yep. Crunch, like, I didn't know what Raisin Bran was missing until... I had Raisin Bran Crunch. It's it's, my, it's phenomenal. Dude, my favorite Raisin Bran, though, is a Raisin Nut Bran. It's with the hey. uh, the nuts that are all over the raisins. Yeah, like, I don't think I've had that. Oh, it's you, so you good. You are a man who loves the nuts. Let me tell I, you. I mean, you know, I like dick sandwiches and nuts. What can I say? What can I say? <laughs> you had the, uh, the Raisin Bran with the dehydrated bananas in it? No, but I'm sure That's it's great. Good. It is good. Now now that we're older, we're like, yeah, Raisin Bran, yes. <laughs> raisin Bran. Yeah. This Fuck video yeah. brought to you by Kellogg's. <laughs> Dude, what if Kellogg's does, like, sponsor this video? Like, oh, I that would be so sweet. <laughs> Matt, uh, invite Billy. All right, hold on, let me put this money up. You should probably put your money up, too. Let's see how much money I got. Nineteen thousand. You still owe me way more than that. <laughs> what? Why? Now you do that. Somebody's not even getting any money. I have forty-four dollars I can put up. Oh hey, uh, uh, Billy, we have a great idea for our motorcycle gang. We're gonna call ourselves okay. the Horsemen. Jay's gonna the dress Horsemen. up. Jay's gonna dress up as Arn Anderson, and we're, the rest of us are gonna dress up as Ric Flair. <laughs> it's not showing that he's in this lobby for some right. reason, but I'll give it a shot. He's in the lobby. He's not a friend, so I'll have to do it differently. Go to contacts. He joined the lobby because we're in, we're, I'm in it, and uh, he joined friends. Go I to your. I see and Jay's music. Yeah, I don't see him in our lobby either. Uh, go to your phone. Use the phone. He's in there. I am. I just did. Is I'm he looking still at the... maps, and I only, you, I only still... see. Is he still in the tutorial? Are you still in the tutorial? No. Let me see if I can send him an invite. I gotta sell my Kakana. Jay, follow that waypoint. John Marston is now available. What? You can play as John Marston? I guess, it just the popped guy up played, here. The guy who played Dead Spike Dead. and Buffy? Hey, uh, you you, <laughs> no, are, uh, you are still in the tutorial, because it won't let me send you an invite, because it says you're still in the tutorial. For real? Yeah. Oh. Do you have to do the first Franklin mission, too? I think you do. Yeah. Oh. 
But if you if you're that far, then it won't take too much longer. All right. GTA with Matt and Jay. Hey, Dad, let's go and play. <clears throat> hey, Dad, let's play has been filmed in front of a live studio audience. <laughs> I, I've always had a crush on you, hey, Dad, let's play. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> the market, my boy. Liquidity's a bitch. Get over here so I can give you the new repo list. The new repo list. Repo man. <laughs> Don't do that. You're going to attract the cops. We won't be able to get into our thing. You're right. I should do it again. You're a dick. A tricky one. Okay, so what are the main missions? Are they the what do they look like? I guess it's the simian thing I gotta go to. Yeah, man, it, it's been a long okay. time since I played the tutorial. <laughs> I didn't do it. Will you drive, Matt? Jeez. Uh, I can't move. I can't help but the cop ran into us. Hey, there's Jay. <laughs> I'm rolling, 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 rolling. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. <laughs> Dude, we should all dress up as Fred Durst. <laughs> every every time we make a new a motorcycle gang, we should just be a, a, like a different set. One day we're Fred Durst, one day we're the Horseman, another day we're like, I don't know, Blink One Eighty Two. Gibbs on Travis. One day we can be all Urkel. We'll have to color ourselves in blackface. <laughs> we can all be Tommy Wiseau. Yeah. We can do a whole video speaking, speaking just like Tommy Wiseau. Oh God. Speaking just like, speaking just like. Oh hi Neil. Oh hi Jay. Oh hi, hi Matt. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh hi yeah, Matt. I did not. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really want to see the disaster artist. I didn't get to see it. It's really good. It's really I haven't good. Seen it either. There's a after credit scene you have to watch. Is it with Tommy Wiseau Cause maybe, himself? Because maybe it he's is. vampire. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he was on. He was on some like interview circuit thing, and they 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 said so. What about this rumor about you flying off? They were talking about the car flying at the end, and he's just like, mm -hmm. yeah. I just thought maybe he was vampire. Yeah. <laughs> he he uploaded the film for free on YouTube, by the way. Oh wow. Matt, yeah, time if, you, uh, did. if you just walk into your uh, which one, the room or disaster artist? The room. Just walk into your your uh your cocaine house. The cops quit following you. They wouldn't give me the option. I just totally walked in and I walked out. Now I have no wanted level. All right, let's sell this shit. Jay, you here? Yeah, you walked right past me. Neil's kicking my car. No, he won't be much longer. <laughs> I don't even give you the option. Just come on in. Hey, Dad, let's play something that's not gay. <laughs> I'm just coming up with catchphrases for you to put on your channel. For your description. Oh yeah, yeah, that that one, that one there is super on brand. Let me tell you. 
You, you cut your kids. You cut your kids in there. Hey, Dad, let's play something that's not gay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, kids, you don't have to worry about that. We're evangelicals. <laughs> <laughs> Next should be a series of videos. Now, oh, hey dad, let's play something. Hey dad, let's play, let's play something, something that is gay. Oh, we're gonna play. Oh. We're gonna play Oon Jammer Lammy. Oon Jammer Lammy. Not. I mean, it was pretty fun. It was like they had a Harappa the rapper only like rock. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have a four door car? You want me to, you want me to call one? <laughs> well, there you go. I'm still <laughs> If I will hold the <laughs> Come on, Neil. Where do you go? He just I disappeared. I'm here. No one's getting that. Onward semi. to battle. Who's the turn? Yeah, I can't. I can't. I yeah, tried. Yeah, call a door. There's a semi behind us. <laughs> I don't think we can all get in a semi, though, honestly. I don't know if I have a four door. Let me see. Give me your truck and your motorcycle boots. Oh, dude, Billy, Spider Man is so good. Oh, yes, it is. Get out of Oscar, Oscar rented Can it you again. Fit three people in here? And uh, he's like really close to platinum. And I was like, I was like, man, you must really like this game. He's like, yep. It's the first game Can I've ever 100% completed. Backpack? No, but. I'll try it. I think I'm. There's a four door behind us, right here. Why don't we just take it? Yeah, but this is a cement mixer. That is cool. I'll tell you what. I'll get this four door, just in case that doesn't work out. Here. <laughs> I'm on top, and maybe I can get over here. Oh, that's that's gonna go amazingly well. Can you crouch down? Good. <laughs> oh, we're timed for this. Yeah. <laughs> get in the four door. I'm, I'm, just, just I'm, get, I'm getting in. I'm getting in now. But that was funny. <laughs> oh, Jay got out of the car. I got in the truck. I thought. Come on. <laughs> and a bounty has been set on me. So hurry up. Who set a bounty on you? Oh, uh, you might. It's probably. Yeah, I was going to say. I guess at a damn waypoint. Where the hell is uh, this thing? Oh, way the hell over here. Oh god, this is gonna take a minute. What what are we going for? Oh my gosh, it's seven Good miles boat. away. That means it's like across the entire map. Although it shouldn't take that long to drive seven miles, but it does. <laughs> So, did you guys watch the Cubs game? No, I didn't. Um, I didn't the game. Well, they're losing. <laughs> what else is new? Actually, they're, they're doing losing pretty five good. to nothing. That's a very competitive division this year. It is very competitive. The Brewers like right neck and neck with them too. Sports ball. <laughs> Sports ball. <laughs> I don't watch baseball, I but I but enough people <laughs> enough people on my timeline share the Cub stuff all the time, so that's all I know. <laughs> and I say, welcome to you to the Hundred Acre Woods to play sports ball. <laughs> sports ball. Sports ball. Welcome to the Hundred Acre Woods. I mean, oh bother. <laughs> oh bother. Oh bother. That's pretty good. You should have me read rap lyrics. <laughs> what should I read? Um, get low. I'll read a song as Winnie the Pooh while we. While Bitches we, uh, ain't shit, but hoes and tricks. 
Get low lyrics. Okay, let's see. And now, a dramatic reading of Get Low by Winnie the Pooh. <clears throat> oh, bother. Three, six, nine. Damn, she's fine. Hoping she can shock it to me one more time. Get low, get low, get low, get low. To the window, piglet, to the wall. Till the sweat drop down my balls. Oh, bother. Till all these bitches crawl. To the skeet skeet motherfuckers all skeet skeet goddamn to all the skeet skeet motherfuckers all skeet skeet oh bother shorty crunk so fresh so clean can she fuck that question's been harassing me in the mind this bitch is fine i done come to the club about 50 11 times now can i play with your panty line the club owner said i need to calm down security guard Go to sweating me now. Nigga drunker than a motherfucker threaten me now. She getting crunk in the club. I mean, she work it. And I like to see what females twerking. Taking the clothes off. Bucky naked. Oh, don't disrespect it. Pop your pussy like this. Cause I'm yin yang twits and it's B I I T. Little John and the East Side boys with me. And we all like to see ass and titties. Now bring your ass over here, piglet, and let me see you get low if you want this thug. Now take it to the floor, and if you ass want to act, you can keep your ass where you're at. <laughs> there, that's all I'm going to <laughs> Brilliant! <laughs> Brilliant! This episode of Masterpiece Theater has been brought to you by Bitches and Hoes and, and Piss Wasser, the official We've officially beer. been tagged. The official officially been beer. tagged for copyright by Disney. <laughs> yeah, Disney's gonna <laughs> fuck us up now. <laughs> Jay just read Winnie the Pooh as Winnie the Pooh reading Get Low. He read the whole song. And after you hear the lyrics with somebody who's not like screaming at you, you really realize how awful they are. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna be able to do this one. Well, if Where? somebody would take their goddamn time driving a car, maybe we'd be there by now. Yeah, yeah, Matt. Not not maybe if we took the semi truck, we'd already be there. No, we wouldn't. Bumblebee, shut this motherfucker down. God, man, this is taking I, forever. I just love the we only got two miles left to go. Yeah, that's like an hour of game time. <laughs> oh my god, we, and after we get there, we gotta get in a boat? Jesus. Mm -hmm. Try not to fuck up the product, Neil. Boy, I'll tell you what, you should watch your language, boy. <laughs> Dang it. I gotta do, I gotta do more Arnold Let's Plays of uh, Fallout. That is that is really fun that's to do. That's my favorite. That's my favorite series, Neil. I love. I do Arnold like doing Fallout. it, but I have to have absolute silence to do it. Yeah. <laughs> the kids can't be in the background. The dogs can't be stupid. Because right. everything I do is improv, and if if I mess up, I have to go do it all over again. <laughs> right. <laughs> but. For the longest time, I just walked around naked in that game. <laughs> and then I dressed up as, as Conan and started hitting people with swords. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, I could be the Terminator. And I just put on sunglasses and shit. It was so good. It's like, it was so I'm good. really surprised more people haven't watched that one. I thought that would blow yeah. up. But it's not really. It was really... great. It was my favorite. You know, I had some guy send me a friend request on PlayStation Network, and I was like, "Do you, do I know you?" Because I usually don't add people I don't know. Yeah. And he's yeah, like, he's here. like, "Oh, I, I'm a big fan of your Hank Hill Resident Evil videos." I was like, "I have a fan! Holy <laughs> crap!" <laughs> that that made my day, and the only yeah, thing that made my awesome. day. The only YouTube part. I remember that... you, you, you called me especially oh. to tell me that. <laughs> I know it was awesome, dude. But you know what made my day even more when Epic Lloyd and freaking Ray William Johnson hearted my comment about Alex Jones. I was like, <laughs> I was like, these these guys are funny. That's it. 
and I've really enjoyed their work. <laughs> and, uh, oh god, Matt just went off the cliff. <laughs> but I the really car, enjoy, I've really enjoyed all their work, like Equals 3, uh, Disraps for Hire, uh, My Favorite Martian. You guys was remember that the them? band? Yeah, that was, was the Ray William the... Johnson's band. Yeah. Oh, my car's on fire. That's not good. Let me get out. Okay. I am delivering product. Well, yeah, Lamar's dead. I'm almost there. He in an exploded car. You just gotta hit the rings, or do you actually have to hit a drop off button? He's like Superman 64. <laughs> oh no. We'll never get this done. <laughs> <It's> too... <laughs> Dude, I remember when I first saw that at a friend's house. I didn't have a 64. So when I saw it, mm. I got really excited. I was like, oh, a Superman game. And then I played it like, what is this? Yeah. How Superman, could they mess Superman, it up so bad? Superman's never had a good game. Never. Like, I guess the only... The turns was decent. No. It was... I guess it was all right, but... It wasn't good. You did the same like was that two. The beat 'em up. That was no. That was the that was the one for PlayStation Two where you could fly around. Oh yeah, I, I didn't like it either. The only good I one liked, I think uh, has been uh, the Sega Genesis ones and like Super Nintendo, the like walk around punch and stuff. Yeah, but even those are not like. I guess the I Justice even League. Those aren't that great. The Justice League fighting game might be the best, but that's hey, not even so really a Superman game. Lego Batman Two was good. I've I've got my uh my very own personal like Mandela effect because I remember vividly a Justice League uh, versus Avengers Super Nintendo game fighting game and it apparently has never existed. I uh, no I I no where did you yeah no I, I don't think that ever it. no no way I used to rent it. Remember uh, Video Time in Mount Vernon? Oh, Brandon? yeah, I remember. I well, I remember I used Video to Time, yeah. Yeah. I remember it actually was it a, being Was there. it a I mean, bootleg? <laughs> it could have been, I Did guess. Did somebody just make a game and give it to Video Time and say, Hey, listen, you can rent this game out. Just give me a dollar for every five dollars you make. You know, like, that, that kind of thing has happened. Like, so there used to be people that would go and rent, like, NES games and take the... The, the guts out of the cartridge like they'd rent something cool and replace it with like Mario Duck Hunt and just return it to the place yeah it used to happen all the time but uh the the thing that I that I found that's the most like what I think is it's like called JLA something but it's a fighting game with the Justice League on the yeah, Super that's, Nintendo that's, that's what I'm talking about yeah so I remember there being a game similar to that, but it had Marvel in it too, and they fought each other. I don't remember any of this. There was an no, Nintendo. It doesn't, there, it does, I mean, it does there exist. Was, there was a Super Marvel Superheroes game on the Super Nintendo. Yeah. Yeah. No, this thing I'm talking about that I remember so well, it apparently has never existed. Matt, is this the last mission you're in on? You yeah, gotta probably. work. I don't see any more deliveries on my waypoint. Did you get the one in the truck over there? I don't see any more yellow dots on my radar. You sold it. Sorry, whoever I just landed on. Me. Hey, I got 35000 for that. Yeah. Well, I'm going to end this video right here, because I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to keep trying to get through this Franklin thing. Let's shamelessly plug things one more time. Hey, Dad, Let's Play is here. Hey, I'm here. There are videos with my kids on my channel, and there's more adult-oriented streams every Wednesday and Sunday. And Jay is here. 
Hi, it is uh, Jayster Music. If you go to jayshraub.com, J-A-Y-S-C-H-R-A-U-B.com, you'll find links there. I have an album out called Soon that just released a month or so ago that I'm very proud of. And if you're in the Chicago land area, I will be at Kiss the Sky Cafe October 27th at 1 o'clock p.m. It's a free show. Come and see me. Ooh, free. That's always nice. And Matt, your channel? Machismo. 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 Twice. <laughs> you said machismo three times. No, it means it's twice. It's machismo Hopefully. three times it's a, twice. It's a work in progress. <laughs> I'm not very good at YouTubing, apparently. No. Because I can't find you anywhere. But you, you somehow exist. But I don't know how. Your your YouTube channel remains in the Twilight Zone. <laughs> and my... I'm formerly known as Rusty McSteel, but now I am shockingly Neil because I felt that it was catchier and a better name. But Rusty McSteel's origins uh, spawn back to... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> wow, Matt. Anyway, uh, my, put your the money origins... Up, son. I said... I did put money up. Uh... But uh, Rusty McSteel is the manliest name ever conceived. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name, sir? Oh, I'm John. What's your name? Rusty McSteel. <laughs> oh. My name is my name you, is Big Mc Large Huge. <laughs> you you can cut in front of me, Mr. Rusty. <laughs> my name's Biff Bigton. What's your name? L Lenny. <laughs> so. Uh, I'll put your uh, YouTube channels in the uh, uh, the uh, description box. If I can find Matt's, I'll put it down there. I can't. I've, I've been looking all over for it, but I can't find it. Like, I type in Matt Cheesmo, Matt Cheesmo, Matt Cheesmo, Mattzilla. I type in it, and I can't find it. But You have to type the whole thing out. You have to type in Matt Cheesmo three times twice. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, for some reason, when I go to put a name in and pick a name, it wants me to enter a first and last name, and then it makes that my channel name. Yeah, it's I'd... stupid like that now. But so how it the didn't hell do that do to me? It? But I don't know why. I'm sorry. I'm invincible. All right, I'm into the video. Oh, bye bye. Your bullets will do nothing. Goodbye. No.